pick up, pick up their phone and call them. And so that's that's. Yeah, really and um, I think that's a nice name. This one time the guy I talked to, but high end, he said I put down twelve hundred. That he says more than likely we'll be anywhere near that, but not to exceed. Um, it would be how much it is to get the wire over the wall, or through the wall, or whatever to the uh, interface there. Um, but it, to me, this this very well needs to be done. So you'll see the PO go through there, Jim. So if you want to sign it up. Um, <clears throat> Alright, we've got uh, some email from my uh, Cap Flag on a bad toe. And okay. It's 130 dollar expense. So I'm putting the purchase rack through to take care of that from the police fund. We got the letter today, but it's oh, okay. too late for me. I was wondering why I hadn't seen the email yet. It just came me. through this afternoon. Okay. What so, happened? How did it happen? What happened? Uh, there's a narrative with the letter to read through on okay. that, um, but I think it's tied to some of the citizens' requests on abandoned junk vehicles. Yeah, okay, okay. The guy followed the tow truck. Okay, the law is it's got to be clearly inoperable. The guy paid his tow bill and drove the car home, so the vehicle doesn't meet clearly inoperable. So it's a bad tow. So, um, Either way, I mean, that's going to happen. Okay. I have two two things. I missed, as you know, I wasn't at the November second meeting. Didn't have a November sixteenth meeting. But I did. I never got the two resolutions. I got my folder, but not the two resolutions that you guys signed and approved. But on top of that, the numbers weren't right. The 21-082 and 21-083 have already been used. 21082 should have been 21084 and 21083 should have been 21085. Who has those resolutions? Because nobody got them to me. I'm you thinking I have. Okay, well those resolution numbers need to be changed. And then I need to have them for the record to post them. And we should be starting at 2108 today. So if you can get me those resolutions, that would be great. Do you want me to um, bring them back for you guys the initial ones and sign them, or you're just going to change the numbers and you guys agree to that? I don't even want to do it. I'll have to pull them and get them turned in because I started. I went through some stuff today and there's a few forms that need to be turned in. I've got the original documents tied to the Sudfin purchase. So I've got a bunch of Is this something black, else? A finance agreement. Yeah, I mean, the application. These two resolutions were about Crystal Dennis um, retiring or whatever she did. And Discrepancies with correction of various township employees. I guess that was the fire department. Those are those two resolutions. I'll take one of them out. Okay. Because those are two. Because I, I, I listened to the main meeting minutes and I heard the numbers, and that's why I knew that you had used the numbers over again. Um, but just have to work out somewhere if I miss a meeting or somebody. I need to give you guys. I usually post the things out on the, on the website, so it's usually up to date by the time we have the meeting. But um, somehow I just have to get to you guys whatever the next resolution is. I have to work that out. Any other new business? I have one more. It's not really new, it's, it's the last amount of money for the CARES Act. Um, you guys, um, I think you guys agreed to go ahead and let the fire department purchase protective gear, uniforms, whatever they want. Is that correct? Okay. I think it was discussed. I'm not sure if it was voted out. Okay, so do you want to vote on that in the meeting? 
for that. I mean, just a verbal book. A verbal book, because we need to get it going. Like I said, I'm closing the books out. I need to also include that on the list to get that money to the right company. Where is that right now? This is a process I gotta go through to change all that. So, do you wanna vote on that tonight to get it done? I do. So that's, that's one thing. And so I got a, a PO from the fire chief, if that's what you guys finally decide. And he's giving me the PO, so all I got, it's all ready to go if you guys agree on that. So I wanted to bring that up. Um, and Oh, um, a guy called me about, um, he was on the Jefferson Township Police Department back in the, in the 80s and 90s when they still had a police department. And um, he had, um, he retired, I guess, whatever they did, closed it down or whatever, but he was still working as a police officer. And I think I sent you guys this paperwork, so I don't think I need to go through all of it. Anyway, he said he might be at the meeting, but he may wait till the beginning of the year. But I want you guys to be prepared. So if you if you get some chance to look at that email, he's asking for permission to carry a gun in all fifty states. Yes. How do we have permission? No, you don't. You don't give him that permission. Yeah. You just give him a letter that was in the package that says he was that acknowledges that he was a police officer. I don't know how you can verify it. That's up to you guys how you guys can verify that. Call Potter. Hmm? Call Potter. Who's that? Ohio Peace Officer in Kansas. Yeah. He, he's got all this paperwork. He had to take it to court and everything. So I provided all that paperwork to you guys. He just needs a letter. And there's, our, there's also a letter in there that he's got from the previous trustees. I think it was Goody. Um, Sims. Fritz, no, Fritz. Joanne Fritz and Bryce Sims. I don't know if it was Sims. Oh, yeah, it is. Bryce Sims. Fritz, Goodin, and Bryce yeah. Sims, though, with dated 1996, but he hadn't retired then. And so he needs a more updated letter. So, where are we storing employee files from 30 years ago? I don't know. Well, it's not been 30, but I don't know what the police records are at all. I have no clue. There's, there's files over in that other part of my office, but they're just thrown in there. And they could be in there somewhere, but... I mean, we know he worked. I mean, I got a letter. We know he did work here. But that's what you need to verify. And that's what the letter was dated 1986 after the police department closed down in 1995. All they want to do is just say, yeah, according to this, you know, he did work here, and we're just giving you an updated letter. I don't know how you do that. Well, without a employee file, we can't vouch for that. Mm. Well, here we have to be, and I'm just giving you a heads up. So I just wanted to let you know that he came to me, and I told him there wasn't nothing to do, but I would bring it to you guys. So I brought it to you guys. Um, I also sent you guys some copies of some correspondence. I'm going to start sending you guys correspondence too. Of stuff so you guys are aware of it. <coughs> I'm getting a lot more than I used to. So I'll just start forwarding it to you guys as, as <coughs> let you guys decide what you want to do with it. I think that's all I think that's all I have. Yeah, I want to do, uh, I don't know how we're going to go about it, but um, there was a Lowe's receipt where a road employee bought weed killer. And uh, it's obviously paid, it's been sprayed uh, behind the uh, fire building there on Kimmel. And then it was on the same person's time card that they, they sprayed up the uh, Rockville Cemetery. And we know that uh, without a spray license, they cannot do that. So we just make sure that we let you know the policy that uh, without a spray license, you cannot spray the township. 
and you know, I don't know somebody's name, but same, the same person that bought it on Lowe's, somebody gave them permission to buy it. They bought the spray, the, the, the weed killer, and then it's been sprayed in a couple of different applications, and that's not legal. Well, time in the state. Well, you do that. I mean, you do that, and you get you guys in trouble. Yeah, well, you're going to get yourself in trouble. You need to correct the problem. Why just turn them into the state? Just give a slap on the hand and get it taken care of. Anything else? Second. There are no speaker forms out here. Yeah, do I? They say we don't have any copy paper. I guess you speak freely then. Okay, that works. That's true. What time did you put down the gym at 7 o'clock? 6.45.